Hi, Topaz here at The Skin Deep, and I want to introduce you to our new series, Threshold, in which we share films, both documentary and fiction, that explore the threshold of the human experience, pushing the edge of our understanding and comfort zone of what it means to be human in this day and age. How do we communicate? How do we connect in all its forms? City, our first film, is something I made years ago, but we feel it's more relevant now than ever before. We believe there's something to learn in every real, raw, an honest conversation. And this film is a good example of that. ولا ازيك تمام اه حيانا ممكن اساعدك في الموضوع ده بس هو <تصفيق> بجد ايه ده معقوله بجد طيب انت فينك دلوقتي اهو انا هاخد كاستمر اهو اوكي ماشي Get me on the Wall Street, please. It will take a little time because uh, traffic bad today. Just go for the quickest route, would you? You are in a hurry? I'm always in a hurry. What part of the Middle East are you from? I am uh, from Egypt, originally. You look like a Saudi. It's funny, I used to live in Saudi Arabia. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh, what do you do there? I was actually on a business. Uh, I had my own business over there. Oh. You like there? No, I didn't like it at all, actually. It's an ugly place. Oh. You speak Arabic? Inshallah. Everybody knows Inshallah. You know what it means? It means that God wills. God wills. So, God will for me to live here, and I'm very thankful. So now you're an American? Yes, I am now American. You see this building over here? Yes. See World this big Trade. black building over here? Yes. Um, this is like World Trade Center, I remember. That's right. 9-11, um, that's where I was standing. Oh. When the planes hit it. Where were you on 9-11? I was here, I was driving, and some lady, she on the phone, and she starts to cry, and I say, what's going on? She said, put the radio, and I think, God, please make not make these people not to be Arabic, you know? Not to be Muslim Arabic, because I But you know. knew they were, didn't you? You knew in your heart that they were Muslims. I don't know what you mean by that. No offense to your religion, my friend, but uh, it seems that only Muslims believe that paradise can be entered through some sort of a... Jihad, you say, jihad. yes? Jihad. Jihad, I understand, I understand. This is, what, this is what they tell you in the news, you watch the news, you know. It's what we see every day. It's not true. Maybe you can explain to me why. It's only the Muslims, when they come over here, that cause the problems. I mean, I'm not saying that you cause the problems, you know? I don't know that you don't, but, you know, it's, it seems odd to me that it's only the Muslims that seem to like to cut people's heads off and, and, and show them on television. It seems odd to me that it's the Muslims who turn around and, and cut off the heads of three Christian girls in Indonesia. It seems really odd to me that it's just the Muslims who basically do all the murder and turn around and say it's all God. I mean, I, I am convinced 
that some Muslim, not a Christian, not a Buddhist, but some Muslim is going to bring an atomic weapon into this city and is going to blow it Look, up. This Muslim girl there, yeah? She walking, she cover, you know? She, she just going to school. She like 13. You know, she go to school, she do her homework. One day, she wants to do something good in America, you know? What is good? She wants, the good she wants to do is blow. Please get a grip. Look at the picture in the newspaper just yesterday of Saida, who is an Zoom. Iraqi woman yes. with a veil on her head that went into a hotel and it in, work, in, 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 in Jordan and went to blow herself up. Her husband did it and blew up a bunch of people. So you tell me that this little girl over here who's 13 and wears a scarf around her head isn't going to grow up and become a Saida no. and turn around and put an explosive belt around her waist and walk into some hotel and detonate it and kill a bunch of innocent men, she women and not. children? It's like impossible for you to understand it's How do I understand every that? Every woman, every woman cover is going to be like this other woman to blow. Well, Why you it doesn't happen it up. every day. Maybe it should happen every day. Something happen every day. Somebody get it blown It does up. happen every fucking day. You want me every day to say I'm sorry? No, every day. I want you to uh, go no, back to your day. own country. Every day you want me to say what you say? I want you to go back to your own country. What I is want my... you to get out of America. That's what I really want. So if you want to know the truth, I want you and every other Muslim in this United States to go. Now the truth is out. And I you mean it. Never, I really mean it. You are never, ever, ever going to understand. I don't want to understand. Because people that are here, that come here, they leave their families. They leave behind so much good things. They come here because of something better. For exact what you're saying, freedom to speak. The meaning of America is bringing those people here. You know? Maybe you think they come here so you, they can change. But they come here because of the freedom not to change. They start to feel this country home. And you say, not allowed. Why? Because of what the horrible things that happened 9-11. And you say, now, everybody out. You take your, what am I going, how am I going to, excuse me, let me just think here. I take my American passport and I go where? With my American, I say, look for another America. If you kick everybody out, then you don't have, you, you don't have America. I know that. But I'm afraid if something else happens, if we don't, we're gonna get rid of all the Muslims. You think the government will do that? They did it to the Japanese in the Second World War. You think they won't do it to the Muslims? Mm -hmm. And that's what really worries me, is that if we have another terrorist attack, a major terrorist attack, like a nuclear bomb in New York or Washington, or wherever, okay? This whole country is gonna really change. Here's my stop right up here.